Hi, my name is Jessica Daniel. I'm a women's A uh, off-road racer here with Dirt Bike Test today. My uh, second pick on the bike test today uh, would be the Gas Gas 250, the EX250. I, I personally ride a KTM, so that was kind of the most familiar feel to me uh, with the chassis, the setup, uh, the clutch, the power band, um, the braking system, the weight, the handling, everything about it was very familiar to me. Um, the, the good thing about it that I like, the pros that I, I like out of this is definitely the handling, uh, especially through technical and definitely through motocross. I think any kind of terrain that you do tackle, it, it handles well. You go into corners really well. It wants to, um, it wants to be there for you, like turning in whatever direction it needs to. Um, any technical riding, it's it's easy to, it's so lightweight, easy to get around rocks, easy to move it where you need to um, with the clutch control. So that was something that I do um, favor on the gas gas. And uh, all, yeah, clutch component, the hydraulic clutch is definitely a, a massive win there. Um, suspension would, would be uh, my biggest con about the bike with the air forks. It, it doesn't seem to take uh, initial impact very well on, on hard chatter. So anything with high speeds, it doesn't really respond very well as compared to the other bikes that we rode today. So um, the power band is good for high speeds. Uh, it, it lacked a little bit of bottom end, uh, especially on the motocross track but I felt that was favorable in the technical areas too because it wasn't very peppery, it wasn't very strong-willed, so. Honda, Honda would be my third choice as far as comfortability and everything about the bike that was noticeable. I will be honest, I didn't notice too many things on the bike that stood out that caught my attention um, that I had a say about, um, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, there definitely wasn't anything negative about it that wouldn't change my mind from buying one. It was, it's a skinny bike, it's a lightweight bike, it handles pretty decently well on the motocross track and especially through the technicality. Uh, it definitely allows you to kind of put the bike where you want it. The power band was consistent, it was good. Um, it wasn't as powerful as the Yamaha, I feel, but it definitely did not lack any power if I was looking for it. And with the two maps, it definitely creates a adjustability for the kind of style of riding you're doing. Um, Cause I did the aggressive map and it turned out to be a little more favorable map wise on the, or power wise on the, on the main track, the motocross track with the regular map. It just seemed a bit smoother, a little bit more controllable for me. Um, braking system wasn't uh, terrible at all. It was definitely did what it needed to do um, in that sense. Uh, it wasn't anything that I had any thoughts on that created any complications in corners or anything like that. So something about the chassis of the bike. It, this is one of the frames where it does feel you, you feel a little bit smaller on on that frame. Um, and so for a smaller rider like myself, uh, going through any high speed or any um, quick twitch adjustability that you have to make on the bike, it feels like it's a little bit, it'll get away from you a little bit more um, compared to the Yamaha. The, it, it just seems like if something goes wrong, it's, it's a little bit bigger to steer. So cable clutch on this bike was definitely the strongest to manage out of all the 250s but it was very consistent and very responsive so I appreciate that aspect out of that. My name is Marshall Stewart. I'm an uh, expert off-road racer here with uh, Dirt Bike Test testing out the off-road 250s. Uh, starting off the winner for me would be the Gas Gas. Um, my entire riding style is feel. Uh, for me, the chassis is uh, is everything. Um, it gave me the reliability in my feet, as odd as it sounds. Um, I'm very sensitive with, with my feet and, and how hard I push with my heels. Um, and it gives me the feeling I need um, to be fast. Uh, another big winner for this bike right here is gonna be the brake system. Um, I feel as if Brembo just does it different and does it better. 
uh, the steel braided brake lines doesn't allow uh, the, the brake lines to expand where you then lose fuel. Um, that is an issue I had with the other brands. As, as you start riding a little bit more, uh, the brakes start fading just a little bit. Um, not, nothing super serious, it's just a very personal feel for me. Um, this bike, I wasn't stoked on the power. Uh, the, the power kind of lacked um, on the bottom end. Um, but on the top end, it was really fast. And once when you're able to be in those RPMs and you're able to have those speeds, you got to keep it there. Uh, it gives, gives off a little, you know, harder riding and you get a little bit more, more fatigued. Uh, but again, the, the power is there. I was able to do everything I needed. Uh, through the trails, um, the, the bike was nimble, uh, very comfortable. I was able to be confident through rocks, uh, logs, um, tight single tracks, lefts and rights. Um, I was I was just very very comfortable. Uh, another big win for me on this is going to be the clutch. The clutch, uh, the hydraulic clutch on this bike is very reliable, uh, very consistent, and it goes best with the power. Uh, so as you have to feather it, or if you're slipping it out of the out of a corner, um, the the motor works well with with those type of riding styles. Um, that's about it for me on this. The, the suspension has been better. I can say that. Uh, in years past with these air forks, you get a really dead feel uh, and very little adjustability. The, as you come into braking bumps and you're entering the turn, um, the bike wants to start walking away from you, especially the front end. Um, with this one, there was a little bit uh, adjustability that I had to do. Uh, and and the, the sliding or the skipping away um, uh, subsiding. Uh, so the suspension is good. The rear end, happy with. I, I didn't even touch it. Uh, all we did was set sag on this bike, um, and it was good And on the trails, through the rocks, and on the moto track. Um, very, very confident in that. Um, and I feel as if that goes in line with the, with the chassis. Um, I'm able to keep the rear end uh, set, uh, set down uh, pretty well. What's up, guys? Trevor Hunter here with Dirt Bike Test. I'm a pro-level off-road desert Grand Prix racer, and today we are comparing all the 250F off-road race bikes. And last on my list is the Gas Gas. I, uh, I came in knowing I might not enjoy the Gas Gas, but I was actually more impressed with it than I thought it'd be. Um, it's pretty close to the other bikes, but still kind of off of its own in fourth place. Um, the motor to me, it just isn't my kind of motor. It's really, there's not a ton of bottom end and torque, and like, you really need to ride it hard. And it, to me, it takes a long time to get into that higher RPMs, which is where all the power is. So it takes a lot of work to ride this bike hard and fast. And to me, it's not, it's not what I'm looking for out of a 250F. Um, it's good, like trail riding, it's very smooth and easy to ride. It's just not easy to ride fast, I would say. So I kind of struggled with the motor and suspension, same thing. The air fork is, I, and I can appreciate the lightweight feel of the air fork in some situations when it gets slower speeds, but for the most part, it kind of struggled with keeping that weight on the front end and turning and kind of dancing across the chop and stuff like that. So I kind of struggled overall with the gas, gas, and motor and suspension. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Mattoon from Dirt Bike Test, and today we were out here doing a shootout with all the 250F uh, competition off-road bikes. Oh, and last place for me is the, the, the gas, gas. Now, this bike, it... It definitely, there's a market for this bike. I think if you are just looking for a step-up machine, like if you've been riding 230s and you want, want something a little bit more, I think this is the bike for you. But when it comes to competition, I felt that the power band was way too linear. It wasn't, there was no hit. Uh, I couldn't really ride it comfortably in the low end or the top end or the mid-range. It was, it was kind of interesting to, to ride a 250F that was just kind of tuned, tuned down. So that's why when I hopped on it and why place last for me is I was really expecting a little bit more of a competition feel from the competition bike. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the forks, but we did some settings at the end of the day that makes me think if we had more time, that if I had more time with it, I think I could get it more comfortable for me. So I, I don't think this bike is, like, I, so I think if I had more time to play with the suspension settings, I feel like I could get this bike a lot, working a lot better for me. But as it is, and with the with the one day I have on it I, it, I do have to rank it a little lower just because I do have to rank it at the bottom, because again, I don't really like the power band for a competition bike, and I wasn't really a big fan of the suspension setup that it came with. So, what's up, guys? My name is Tyler Belknap. I'm here with Dirt Bike Test. 
I'm a pro level off-road racer and today we're testing the difference between the multiple brands for 250 off-road dirt bikes and rounding out the top the bottom of the four is the gas gas I it was a interesting bike it was the only steel frame we had uh, but I really enjoyed that steel frame it was really good so it, like it made the bike feel really good and stuff and I enjoyed the steel frame otherwise from that I wasn't a huge fan of the forks of the air forks um, I'm more it was just a little too stiff and weird feeling for me and uh but the motor was a really good calm motor it wasn't anything aggressive that was gonna rip your arms off really good for like an intro rider and just a really smooth consistent from the bottom to top and overall a, a pretty good bike